So today I have this Sterling engine here, which I'm going to show you a couple of things on it that I like. Not really a review, just going to go over a couple of points. I'll tell you the brand. I'll put a link in the description below in case you want to pick up the same one. And that's really about it. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so this is a Sterling engine, as I mentioned before. The brand that makes this one is Sunny Tech, and I got it on Amazon. What I really liked about this version over some of the other ones that I've seen is this generator right here, which has an LED that flashes while the motor runs. Many of them, it'll have this area open with the LED sticking up over here, and you can see the two leads just connecting here and here, which is okay, but it didn't look as finished to me, which is why I like this model a lot better. This generator just looks like a much nicer piece, much more finished. And honestly, I don't know how much this is really going to get run. So it's going to be sh sitting on a shelf most of its life. So I wanted it to look nice. Another reason I also like this model was because of this wooden base. As I said, if it's sitting on a shelf as a display piece, it looks a little bit nicer with the wooden base. Now you can get some of these models where it's just on a metal base and it does cost less money, but of course it's not as nice looking. So that is the main reasons why I went with this particular model. But if you look on Amazon, you'll see there's many models out there that you can choose from. Here's a shot from the other side. Kind of see what it looks like all around. And uh, we'll get some fuel in this bad boy and fire her up. But before we do that, a couple of key points that I'd like to point out. Before you run this, it would be a good idea to oil some of the moving points on this engine. You can use anything like 3-in-1 oil or Zoom Spout, anything that's a very lightweight machine oil. So what you'd want to do is you want to put some oil right here in this hinge pin right there. Put a little touch right there. Let's turn this around. Put a touch of oil right here. You can put a touch of oil in that pin right there. Oops, sorry about that. Also, don't forget, when this is running, you see this shaft right back here. You can put a little bit of oil on this because it's sliding in and out of here. And also, what a lot of people might forget, you can put just a touch right inside there where this shaft is in there and right over there and i mean a touch the toothpick is the perfect way to apply it and it's a very small amount too much in this case is not better and i have oiled this up already so i'm going to fire it up and i will show you that it does move around a little bit on this table and then what i'm going to do to try and fix that Another point I would like to bring up is while you can run this on rubbing alcohol, I would not recommend it because it burns pretty dirty and your glass tube here will get black all over it, which of course you can clean off. But the right thing to use would be this, denatured alcohol. See, clean burning fuel. So let me load this thing up and we'll get it running. Now one thing I do like to do, I like to light it and try and start it before it's really up to temperature so you can see it start off slow and build up speed. So let's see, here we go. There she goes. Picking up speed now. You'll see the LED light also does a couple of different patterns. One's pretty smooth. But you can hear that it bouncing on the table a little. If I put my hand on it, it's not too bad actually on this table. Yeah, you can hear a difference there. So, 
Let me blow out the flame. And then I'll show you what we're gonna do to maybe make it a little bit quieter. It won't vibrate so much. You see it runs pretty good. And after the flame is out, it keeps on going for uh, another minute or so from the residual heat. Slowing down. Try and make it vibrate a little bit less. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this right here, these sticky kind of self-adhesive anti-skid pads, and I'm going to cut one of these down, which is be plenty to put on the small feet of this, because they are pretty small, and we'll see what happens. I got these off the Home Depot website. It was free delivery. They were cheap, a little over $2. I'll put a link in the description, because why should you have to search for it when I already found them? So let me cut these and apply them to the bottom and we'll see what happens. There we go. I got the feet stuck on the bottom and I want to mention, you could use something like these kind of rubber feet, but I didn't want to use this because I didn't want to add the height that this would add. I mean, it's pretty small, but those other pads that I got, they're really thin. So it really doesn't add any height. And as you see it, it's sitting there, you can't even really tell that they're on there. So we're gonna fire it up now and see if it made any difference. Burn, baby, burn. Give it a moment. I don't think it's sliding. It wasn't sliding too much before, but a little bit. So I will say at least the feet will keep it in place. Well, maybe it is a little bit quieter. Quieter. I'm not so sure. Now you be the judge, but it definitely didn't hurt to put them on there. You see, the thing does run run very nicely. And there you have it, a little Sterling engine. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.